This couple says Jesus has disappointed them. So they've turned their church into a farm. People think they are mad. <laughs> On the contrary, they are not. So because the fact that a person is having some mental health challenges doesn't mean they are mad. Unfortunately, the masses think that a person who is naked and eating from the garbage is the only person having mental health challenge. No. There are politicians, there are well-to-do people, people of high class. There are soldiers, policemen. A lot of people have mental health issues. It doesn't mean they are mad. So please learn about this thing before you pass judgment on people who are going through difficulties. Now, this couple here, they've lost two children in their life. Apparently, the man was a pastor and he's dedicated all his life working. I've had the opportunity to just pay attention closely to all their videos. And I've watched the video from beginning to end from Kofi TV. And watching them, there is more to this story. Just listen to advice she's giving her little child. This is so sad. <laughs> Kofi was a bit skeptical. I mean, he was careful with the choice of question. The man actually thinks before he talks, but the woman is just revealing a lot that might put them into trouble. Now, they lost their children and the woman is claiming that the husband sacrificed the children. This calls for an attention because at the end of the day, looking at how things are going, the police might invite them soon. Now, the couple, I agree with them and disagree with them to some extent. They are saying that they are no more religious and now they are spiritual. I do agree with them in that aspect because now I am also spiritual. And being spiritual actually opens your mind. Religion actually restricts you in your level of thinking. But being spiritual helps you to understand how nature works. Being spiritual makes you understand how the world operates. Being spiritual teaches you that you live to reap whatever you sow. Being spiritual teaches you that the world is like a boomerang. What you give is what you get. Becoming spiritual and paying attention to my spirituality has helped me to reduce certain things I used to do. Before, I could just pick anybody, do video about them without thinking about how they feel. But being spiritual teaches me that before you make a step, pause, think. Now, when I want to make a video about anybody, first of all, I ask myself, how would the person feel when they see the video? Number two, I ask myself, if the same video is being done about me and I see it, how would I feel? When you begin to understand the human nature, understand spirituality, you will limit your level of hurting people. When you understand that the world is like a boomerang, what you give is what you get. You know that any bad decision you take comes back to you. It doesn't go to any other person. So to that extent, I do agree with them. Now, saying Jesus is a scam, God doesn't exist and all that, I disagree with them. Do you know why? Now, religion, as it is, has its own good and bad effect. Everything that has advantages also has its own disadvantages. For me, even though I have become a spiritual person, I can get up and go to church at, at any time. Because the house of God, if they say house of God, and Jesus, at, as a, Jesus being a symbol, if you are spiritual and a symbol stand for love, Peace, harmony, forgiveness. This is a good symbol, not a bad one. So even if you are watching me and you are not, you are not religious, that is not, that doesn't mean you should condemn religion. 
I used to condemn religion because at the point I realized that I have sacrificed so much for my country. And at a point I was expecting Jesus to miraculously tell people that I had good intention. Ah, look at this. Church of Pentecost. And this is original copy of my certificate of baptism. I was baptized in 2004. My mother took me to the place to get baptized. I was only 17 years when I got baptized. It's been a long time I attended church, but this certificate is so important to me. And this is not a photocopy. It's not even laminated. That tells you the importance of this certificate in my life. Now, you might argue and say Jesus doesn't exist. Jesus is a scam, blah, blah, blah. But when you were going to the church, Sunday school and so on, what were you being taught? In the church, they will tell you if you drink, you will go to hell. If you smoke, you will go to hell. Actually, these things were actually things that will guide you in your lifetime. Even though there might not necessarily be any hellfire. These things actually, when you do them, you, it affects your own body. It doesn't affect me. So even though this kind of teachings put a little bit of fear in us, it actually helped. For me, I can tell you vividly that me going through all the storms in my life, I never found alcohol to be anything that could help me. I never seen smoking or doing drugs that would help me. No. I am not here to preach that I'm, I am perfect or I'm righteous. But then, the teachings you receive when you are a child, it goes a long way to help you when you become an adult. I drink occasionally. Sometimes two years, three years, I've not tasted that. I go to parties, I go to food, and people are drinking. And yet, I know me come because when I was young, I didn't do that. Now, if you listen to this couple very well, they are in pain. Forget about them dancing and pretending as if they are happy. I have been there before. Actually, they have not been able to recover from the loss of their children. Let me teach you one secret about life. Not everybody can recover from a loss. That is why some people even commit suicide. Because they can't deal with the loss. But if you know certain things about life and spirituality... These things will help you recover. Before you recover, you have to understand one thing. To be able to recover from every storm, you have to remember only one thing, which is everything in life is temporal. Everything in life is temporal. If you don't learn and accept the fact that everything is temporal, you can never recover from any loss. Now, your children in your life, they are temporal. Because even you can lose them. Anything can happen. Accidents do okay. The children might die. But if you know that everything is temporal, that means anything that you have now, you can lose it at any given time. Consciously, you have prepared your mind. Mentally, you have prepared. Psychologically, you are equipped. That anything that you have now can go at any given time. Because even children grow and they marry. Even if nothing bad happens, they grow, they get relationships, they go far from you and sometimes you never get to see them again. Husbands and wives, they are temporal. If you don't learn this, some people are so attached. If you don't learn these things about life and nature and you become so attached, I was in that category. I was always attached with anything in my life and that really affected my mental health. Please, what are you waiting for? Husbands and wives, they are temporal. You see people are so attached with their husbands, their wives, they are always fan of them, talking about them. Some people can never live a day without their husbands, wives or girlfriends or, boy or boyfriends. Husband can die. Wife can die. Husband can lose interest. They might divorce you. Boyfriend, girlfriend might lose interest. So always, anything that becomes so dear to your heart, consciously, mentally, psychologically, psych yourself that this thing that I so much love, I can lose it at any time. Therefore, when it happens and you lose them, you will not be so affected. After watching their video, full video on Kofi TV, I noticed that 
The man was raised by foster parents. The woman was equally raised by foster parents. They claim they have no parent. That means they have not seen their biological parent before. This is where family comes in. This is why family is very important in anybody's life. Even if for some reasons you can't raise your children and they are being raised by somebody, you should never be absent in their lives forever. They feel neglected by even their own parents. This pain has been with them. It's a pain and trauma. No matter what happens in one's life, the love of a mother is irreplaceable. Nobody can love you better than your own mother. So no matter how your mothers are, your grandparents are, never neglect them. Love them and care for them. Be grateful that you still have parents. A child who is in foster care, no matter how well that foster mother might have taken good care of them, the absence of their biological father affects them in the long term. The child might be, might be well taken care of, but the fact that they grew up knowing that their biological parents had abandoned them, never vis visiting them, could affect their mental being. That is why no matter what, I am always available for my son. No excuses, no matter where I am, sometimes even when I'm sick, when I was pregnant, I was going there all the time, playing with him. Please parents, never neglect your children, even if you are sick. Now you see that this situation that they found themselves in, assuming they have biological parents, this is the time that they would have come in to help. Nevertheless, there is one good thing I discovered about them. There is some kind of togetherness, the, the unity and the respect among these two. It's something everybody can learn from. They've got each other. Hey, beware. Marijuana is illegal in Ghana. The police will invite them soon. Kofi TV was just being careful and cautious. He didn't want to implicate them. Now they claim they have money. What is their source of income? That's another question. What is their source of income? Because this was a very big platform they got and that if they were doing any other business than the publicity, they could have said it. But they said nothing about their source of income. All of a sudden, they have a car. They've built a house. Watch out.